The given equation is the equation of a circle with center h comma k and radius r. Determine the center and radius, then graph the circle. Remember, the standard form of a circle is the form the quantity x minus h squared plus the quantity y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center and r is the radius. Because we have the quantity x minus h squared, we will have to have a perfect square trinomial in terms of x, and because of the quantity y minus k squared, we'll also have to have a perfect square trinomial in terms of y. We also want the coefficients of x squared and y squared to be one, and therefore for the first step, we will divide both sides of the equation by two. Let's also change the order of the terms and write the x terms and y terms next to each other. Let's write the equation as two x squared plus 16x plus two y squared minus 12y plus 18 equals zero. And now to make the coefficient of x squared and y squared one, we will divide both sides of the equation by two. This will create an equivalent equation where the coefficients of x squared and y squared are one. Notice on the right side of the equation, zero divided by two is still zero. And on the left side, we divide each term in the numerator by two, which gives us x squared plus eight x plus y squared minus six y plus nine equals zero. And now we'll set the equation up to make a perfect square trinomial in terms of x and in terms of y, we will also move the constant to the right side. Let's write the equation as x squared plus eight x plus a constant that will make this a perfect square trinomial in terms of x and then plus y squared minus six y plus another constant that will make this a perfect square trinomial in terms of y and then we subtract nine on both sides and therefore this is equal to negative nine. And now to make a trinomial with a leading coefficient equal to one, a perfect square trinomial, we add the square of half of b to both sides of the equation, where b is the coefficient of x here and b is the coefficient of y here. So notice when b is positive eight, half of b would be half of eight or four and four squared is equal to 16. So we add 16 here to make the x part a perfect square trinomial, but to maintain the equality, we also must add 16 to the right side. And now looking at the y part, notice b, the coefficient of y is negative six. When b is negative six, half of b is going to be negative three. The square of negative three is positive nine. We add nine to make the y part a perfect square trinomial. We must also add nine to the right. And now let's factor the x part and the y part. We now have perfect square trinomials. So factoring x squared plus eight x plus 16, we will have two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of 16 that add to eight are four and four, giving us two factors of x plus four, which is why we have a perfect square trinomial. And now for the y part, the factors of y squared are y and y. The factors of positive nine that add the negative six are negative three and negative three, giving us two factors of y minus three. On the right side, we have negative nine plus 16 plus nine, which is positive 16. Let's rewrite the equation as the quantity x plus four squared plus the quantity y minus three squared equals 16. Now that we have the equation in standard form, we can determine the values of h and k that will give us the center, as well as the value of r, which will give us the radius. We need to be careful about the signs, though. Notice how to find h and k, we have to have subtraction, and notice here we have x plus four. So if we needed to, we could rewrite x plus four as the quantity x minus negative four squared, and then the square of y minus three would be plus the quantity y minus positive three squared equals 16, and 16 is equal to four squared. So notice the center with coordinates h comma k would be negative four comma positive three. If we look back at the equation here, notice how because we have x plus four, the x coordinate is negative four, and because we have y minus three, the y coordinate is positive three. 
And because r squared is equal to 16, or r squared equals four squared, we know the radius r is equal to four units. And now let's go ahead and graph the circle. Let's first plot the center, which is negative four comma three, which is this point here. And now to help us graph this by hand, because the radius is four, we will go right four units. This is the rightmost point on the circle. We will go left four units from the center. This is the leftmost point of the circle. And then from the center, we'll go up four units. And then from the center, we will go down four units. And using these four points on the circle, we should now be able to sketch a nice circle. The graph of the circle looks something like this. Where again, the radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. For example, this distance here is four units. I hope you found this helpful.